Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3978 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 19 moves to clear out 119 jelly, 15 licorice swirls, and 30 toffee swirls. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. So I'm looking at where everything is. Well, there's jelly everywhere, including in this isolated spot that's cordoned off by a candy cane fence. But I do see a portal here that looks like it leads to here. Uh, the other thing I see on the board are these ticking time bombs, which aren't part of the challenge, but if I die, you know, in 12 moves, I don't have the opportunity to have the remaining moves to try to clear things out. So I think I need to focus here. And it wouldn't be bad to, to free these stripes because then these stripes can help over this way. Let's just jump into this board and see what it takes to remove these and get the rest of the job done. So I'm getting stripes, they're not going the right way. Now I've got a stripe going the right way, it's not at the right height. If I could pair that with a wrapped candy, up higher. <laughs> it should have been more explicit. But that will help to open things up. I'm just really worried every move that I take, you know, these are so insulated by so many different layers of things here that it's starting to get me nervous. I'm making moves on the board, but I'm not addressing these, and I know this is a mistake. Okay, so I have the opportunity to do a few different things in here with orange. I can't look at that. I have to get over to here. I mean, maybe if something here could help me, but I don't see that happening. So I'm gonna keep focusing in here. Oh, and I'm even not paying attention to what's happening on the board. So apparently I probably had a stripe that opened this up and then all of that junk flows out here and I've already cleared out the jelly here. So that's kind of nice. I could make an, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. You know, it's suggesting I make a wrapped, but everything would explode. I'm gonna make a stripe and I'm going to send it up through here. It'll take this out and it'll hit this and open it up and clear out a lot of that frosting. Plus, of course, you know, it's going to have some effect over here. I wish I could focus on more than one thing at this point in time. Ah, oh, look at this. This is good. This is set to go horizontally and hopefully take this out, but because I'm making something in this column, it will probably drop down. So I'm not expecting this really to help much here. Also, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. This does not get hit in this scheme. If you don't know why I'm counting it out like that, ask me, I've got a tutorial on it. That's gonna be my choice. Now the ticking time bombs are no longer an issue. The question is, do I keep trying to figure out a way to get more power out of this? You know, I'm kind of thinking while this is open, if I make a striped wrapped combo and take a lot of this out, that might help. Yes, I have licorice coming, but the licorice will probably pool in the bottom if not come through here. And this may also open up more blue opportunities for me. I'm delaying this, which means it could blow up and, and that could be one of the biggest mistakes on the board um, because I do like this combo but I just find this has a better reason to it. Now look at that, I took out almost all of the blue. Not my intention. Bad things happen. <sighs> yeah, what do I do? I'm gonna play around a bit more and try to get more blue onto the board. I got a bit more blue onto the board. Let's try again, just a little bit. I like that, because even if some of these fall down, maybe they'll fall down into the right position. I don't have many moves left. I have to get this cleared. Okay, there we go. All right, and it did kind of pool and or kind of come down here. I've got this stripe, but I've got licorice to get through. Actually, if I do that, that should take out the licorice. But while I have the chance to move here, I think I will. Now remember that, uh, that licorice is going to come through if I'm not careful. I'm going to take this out to remove that licorice. I could do this. This is no longer an issue. These are an issue, specifically this, because I'm going to get licorice coming in. I just know it, and it's going to make me angry. 
All right, so that's, oh, so close to getting a nice cascade. Uh, that's it for me for this round, but the good news is I got really close, and oh my goodness, I didn't even focus on these things. I was so interested in just the jelly. I thought these would kind of take care of themselves. They did not. So now I know how to focus my efforts next time round. I have to make sure I get this open more quickly because I need that licorice and I need to be able to get the toffee out here to be able to take care of it. If it gets stuck on the edges, not really a good opportunity for me. So I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share. Okay, second attempt, and <laughs> that's funny. She popped up before that showed that it was collected. I was looking here, not at the board, but I caught Tiffy out of the corner of my eye. So I thought that was a fun one. Did I get luck on this? Well, probably if it's a hard level and I beat it on my second try. But I do think that studying the board in advance equipped me to better understand how things were going. So this is, and I don't mean to make light of coronavirus. I know that many people uh, have died and suffered from COVID and our economies are in disruption and things like that. But this is my COVID edition. This is the second level of my COVID edition. I'm pretty sure, 99% certain, I'm sick with COVID right now. But the good news is I can reach out to you guys without infecting you. And so I'm going to keep going as best I can, and I'll keep you updated on Candy Crush and everything else. See you in a little while. Bye-bye.